my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa, and today I am going to show you how to make a vegan pumpkin pie with a grain-free almond flour crust. This is a really simple recipe, and since we are about to hit Thanksgiving here in the US, it's perfect timing in my opinion because you can add this to your Thanksgiving menu. Even if you have people at your table that are not vegan, I promise they will absolutely adore this recipe. If you haven't joined our community yet, I would love to welcome you to this little family. You can tap that red subscribe button that is right below this video. I've included the full blog post which has instructions, ingredients, and everything like that in the description box below so you can tap that link and get the full recipe. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive into the video. So we'll start with our pie crust and we are gonna make this in a food processor. We're gonna add two cups of almond flour, a pinch of sea salt, melted vegan butter, and your preferred egg replacer. I used the one from Bob's Red Mill, but I think you could probably also use a flax egg in this place. Then you'll just pop on the lid and you will process it all together until it forms a sticky dough. And you're gonna wanna just like test it by squeezing it in between your fingers so that you can see that it will stick together. Once you get that texture, you can transfer the dough into a greased pie dish. This is a nine inch pan. And then just using your hands, press it into the dish and you're just gonna press, press, press away until you reach all the way up the sides and then you can kind of do the edges and press them into those divots if your pie pan has that and just try to get it as even as possible, making sure that you don't have any blank spots or cracks. Then we'll set this aside and move on to the filling. The filling is also made in the food processor, so you can just add pumpkin puree into the food processor. Make sure it's not pumpkin pie puree, it's pumpkin puree. Then on top of that, you will add in some maple syrup, some full fat coconut milk, some sugar, some arrowroot powder, which is what's gonna help thicken it, a pinch of sea salt, some pumpkin pie spice, as well as some coconut oil and some vanilla extract. And then you can just blend this up until it's smooth and creamy. It's gonna be kind of liquidy, like definitely pourable, and that is definitely the texture that you want. So then you can just pour this filling into the pie dish and smooth it over with your spatula. Then we'll bake it at 350 degrees for about an hour. The almond flour crust might brown a little bit more quickly, so make sure that you either use a pie crust protector or you can cover the pie about halfway in. You'll know the pie is done when the crust is golden brown and it's still a tiny bit jiggly in the center, and then you can just let it rest in the fridge for about four to six hours to let it fully firm up, or preferably leave it overnight so that it really does firm up. Then just remove it from the fridge when you're ready to serve it, slice it up, and I love topping this with coconut whip, but you could use whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, whatever you want. And then I just wanna show you the texture of this pie. You can see it looks very similar to traditional pumpkin pie. It's kind of custardy. It can sometimes get a little bit of a film on the top just from the arrowroot powder, or if you put it in the fridge too soon, if it's still too warm, it might develop a film. But you can see it has that really nice smooth texture, and it honestly is so delicious. I hope you guys love this recipe. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this pumpkin pie video, and I hope that you add this to your Thanksgiving menu because it is sure to be a hit, and it's a little bit healthier than the traditional recipes. If you do end up making it, I would love to see a photo. You can tag me on Instagram using at simplyquinoa or the hashtag simplyquinoa. That will help me easily find your photo and give you a little bit of love in return. Otherwise, of course, I would love for you to join our community here on YouTube. Like I said in the beginning, there's a red button right below this video. You can hit that button and subscribe. I share videos every Tuesdays and Fridays, so there's a ton more content coming your way. Other than that, I hope you have an awesome rest of your Friday, a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye!